Oh, he's gonna eat him. There you go. Yes! <laughs> Today, we're gonna hatch up another Indominus Rex. We've already got the regular one and the aberrant one. Now we're gonna get ourselves an extinction one. This is what it costed to craft it. I've already crafted it and I've went ahead and incubated it. So it's like ready to hatch. So I wanna do this straight off the bat. Um, but as you can see right there, it costed all three of the extinction artifacts, uh, one T-Rex tooth, and then obviously the corrupted hearts and 50 element. This is what the other ones cost in case you're curious. It is unlocked at level 100 and it's part of the domination, uh, domination Rex mod. It used to be called the Indominus one, but I guess he had to change it for copyright reasons. And actually I learned recently enough that there, this mod could be in trouble. This mod could actually get deleted because of like dumb copyright type stuff, which I find really, really silly because I do believe that he made everything to do with this from scratch, but fair enough. Uh, who even owns the Jurassic Park stuff? I don't even know who owns that stuff. I think it might be Universal, but yeah, fair enough Universal. Thanks very much for ruining our fun. Anyway, let's go ahead and check out this baby. Oh, you look. Bro, what is wrong with those textures? I like its eyes. They're blue. <laughs> Look at this thing. Oh, oh, there it is. Okay, there's its textures properly. I've never had to do that before. Oh, it's raging on me. So, oh God. <laughs> How much did it hit for her again? Okay, that did a good amount of damage. Man, these things are terrifying. So, if you guys didn't know, the Domination Rex, Indominus Rex, whatever, it's, uh, it's kind of a crazy creature that uh attacks you from the get-go <laughs> and now i'm dead it just killed me <laughs> i have a bed here right i do have a bed here that's good um so the indominus rex uh it will basically just turn on you randomly throughout its uh maturation cycle once it's fully matured though it will not turn on you which is good a dung beetles are just hanging around here what happened here is this actually gone or is it just not loaded in? What happened here? I gotta feed. Axeman renamed my dung beetles at one point. I'm gonna feed my dung beetle. Wait, is that broken up there? Yeah, that's legitimately broken. Who broke my base? Oh, wow. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. Look. Look, there's a huge amount of damage up there. What happened here? I don't even know. I don't even know. Anyway, um... <laughs> We're like so off topic right now. Oh, alrighty. Well, anyway, uh, the Indominus Rex will just attack you periodically throughout its growth cycle, which is kind of crazy. Um, <laughs> today, I think what we're going to be doing while it's growing, I want to feed it some creatures. I thought that be, I thought that could be kind of funny. Uh, so I want to bring down this. I can already hear it stomping. It's so tiny, but it's so loud. I want to bring it this uh, dung beetle as tribute. Uh, I, d I don't want it to raid me or or eat my base. We do have this containment facility right here to keep it in there, but I don't know. It might be able to break out. You never know. Um, <laughs> you can hear it in there. It's so freaking loud, dude. I got to bring it the dung beetle, though. Let's see if it likes it. Hey, buddy. Brought you a snack. There you go. Why don't you eat that dung beetle? You know what? I'm going to... Okay, the dung beetle's already on passive. That's good. You have eaten my body and you are starving. Let me go get you some food. There you go. There's some food. You can keep my implant if you like. That is a lot of food, man. Okay, you're going to be good though, right? I think he's going to be good. My phone just went off. Um. Anyway, so the Indominus Rex is kind of crazy. I'm really excited to check out this one though. We've already obviously got the other two. Uh, I don't know if there's any difference in terms of stats or anything, but I can already tell this one here has ridiculously high stamina for some reason. Uh, it's got pretty good health in terms of Indominus Rexes, to be honest, uh, but its melee is quite low and I feel like that weight's quite low as well. But yeah, that freaking stamina is trash. Like, well, it's really good, but it's trash because I don't want that many points into stamina, but whatever. This thing is crazy looking. Let's go ahead and just take it off of Wander. It will probably turn on us any moment now and eat that dung beetle. Let's see. You've got a crap ton of fertilizer for him. I'm going to go ahead and take that. This is my fertilizer now. <laughs> Let's go ahead and, uh, you know what? I'm just going to leave you there. You're just going to fight him, I guess. Uh, he's going to eat you. So what I want to do is feed it some baby gigas. Okay, so I got these baby giga eggs. We're going to hatch them out and let this thing eat them. 
whenever he wants whenever he wants a snack pretty much uh let's go ahead and just drop them out here guys make sure that you hit the like button if you find yourself enjoying this one and i will also be asking which one of the indominus rexes do you think looks the best but wait until later on in the video to answer that one by the way he's not really red he's kind of like a brown color he's obviously kind of looking a little bit red judging by like the lights i guess over on this side but you can see he's actually kind of like brown and he's got like blue corruption which is good corruption and he's got blue eyes which looks amazing and he's kind of got all these like little corruption things throughout his body so he looks really really cool let's go ahead and just leave him alone for the moment i want to go ahead and just drop in a bunch of baby gigas here i'm gonna pick up one of those i think i brought 10 eggs so we're gonna leave five oh we got a mutation cool <laughs> he's gonna have to eat this one if he eats all of these baby gigas he's gonna be stronger for sure i think um i'm pretty sure how that's that's how it works you know they eat they eat a strong creature and they become strong um <laughs> oh dude okay hang on so we're just gonna like chill around i guess maybe standing up there or something and let's like wait and see he might go ahead and start eating some of these gigas at some point i don't know like he'll randomly just turn on you at some point his eyes will glow and he'll kind of do like a little roar or something and then at that point it's just hey i'm gonna just run around and, and start eating you or anything else i can get my hands on unfortunately um it can actually like wreck your tames so never hatch one of these in your base or around tames that you really really like unless you have it in a containment facility such as this one um you definitely don't want to do that okay we're just gonna wait and see he was, he's gonna eat some stuff at some point i imagine so yeah we're gonna wait just a little bit Come on, buddy. Why aren't you, like, raging out on anything? Kind of looks like he's a little hurt on this side. He's not actually, though, is he? No, I don't think he is. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Like, he's not raging out on anything. I kind of figure at this point when I come in, he might do something. No? What happens if I punch him? Oh, God! Oh, no. Okay, no. He's... He's... He's not gonna do anything. Um, yeah, I don't know. He's just not, like, raging at all. I mean, like, they do it periodically throughout the whole growth cycle, so... I don't know. We're gonna go ahead and just let him do his thing, though, I, I guess. We're just gonna stand up there. Oh! What's happening? Did something happen? No. <laughs> so, he still hasn't started eating anything. That's exactly what I need. One Tinto Berry. Uh, yeah, he still hasn't started eating anything. I mean, the Gigas are kind of starving here a little. I gotta either feed them or just let them die or whatever. I don't even know. But um, yeah, he's actually gonna require an imprint really quick. There we go, 3%, amazing. Um, the nanny is also imprinting him, but I figured I would just go ahead and do a manual one there to get the little animation. Um, yeah, no, he's just not, he's not aggroing. I don't know why. So I just put him on wander again, just to see if that helps it. Normally, I... I usually would have them like aggroing like constantly, I guess. Uh, this is one of the circumstances where it's just not aggroing really at all. So he's just, you know, going around eating the baby gigas, the dead ones. Um, so is the dung beetle. The two of them are just eating things alive. That's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and just open up like a little hole here and chuck a giga egg through. Oh my God. Is he doing damage? Oh yeah, he is. Oh, the dung beetle's helping. No. Going passive. Chase him. Oh my god, look at this. I wish I had a better view. <laughs> He's... Did he... Is he still aggroed? I think he might be. Oh yeah, he is. No, now he's not aggroed anymore. Damn it! <laughs> oh my god. Alright, well hopefully he'll do that again soon. Come on, Andom. Eat the baby Giga. This extinction one is like so passive. Come on. You want a marberry? What are you, a freaking vegetarian? You want you don't want to eat your dinner? You want berries? Dude! <laughs> oh my god. That's the yellow one, I'm pretty sure. Uh, the thing, it's it's I thought this would be cool and exciting, but it's just like I don't know, it doesn't want to do anything. <laughs> Come on, this is embarrassing. Like, this is exactly what would happen if, like, you know, a live feeding at Jurassic Park was happening and, you know, they they just became friends or something. <laughs> Come on, eat them. You're still aggroed, I can see it. You can see it in his eyes, literally. <laughs> yeah, this thing's gonna die. But that's gonna go, that's gonna be okay. I mean, 
<laughs> Let's give it the prime meat. Maybe it might eat that. Enjoy. Come on, buddy. Eat him, though. I want to see it happen. Okay. He's aggroed again. Let's get the baby Giga and just bring him to him. Oh, he's going to eat him. There you go. Yes! <laughs> Amazing. And he's... Is he still... Okay, he's not aggroed anymore, right? Okay, we're good. We're good. What do you need now? He wants to go on a walk with me. I'll cuddle you. Come on, buddy. Come on a little walk. Let's go over here. Oh my god, that's terrifying. These things are honestly, like, kind of scary. Not gonna lie. I mean, like... Oh god, it's already aggroed. <gasps> this is the perfect time. Let's drop out a gig egg. Come on, buddy. Hatch up. Come on, hatch. There you go. Yes! It's perfect! Look how much freaking damage that thing can do. It's not even fully grown. <gasps> yes! Eat! Eat my dung beetle. Get back in there. Get in there, Axeman dung beetle. Yes! <laughs> there you go. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so messed up. I'm gonna just drop out more baby gigas. I think if I'm closer to him, he seems to be... I don't know. He seems to be, like, aggroing a little bit more now that I'm closer to him. I don't know if that's, like, a thing. Dude, look at him, though. He is beautiful. Definitely, he's getting a lot bigger now. I mean, he's, like, almost the size of me. He is kind of, I guess. <laughs> oh, man, look at you. Look at you. What should we call him, by the way? Because we... We have our other two. The regular one is called Ghost, and then we have the Aberrant one, which is called Shadow. I don't know what to call this one, though. And we also got one for the Scorched. Like, we're gonna have to name one, uh, the Scorched one after something, I guess. I don't know what we're gonna name it yet, though. So yeah, we gotta come up with a cool name for this thing. Leave some suggestions down below. Oh god, I'm glitching into everything. Oh god, please don't eat me. <gasps> no, I'm stuck on something. What am I stuck on? Hang on, wait, what? What am I stuck on? Dude! Okay, I'm out. I'm good. Oh, he's aggroed. Oh, he's doing it. He's gonna eat them. Yes! Eat! Feed, my pretty. Let's get rid of that. <laughs> Look at him. Go on, go after them. Chase them down more. Don't just stand there. Okay, you got that one. Fair play. Good job. Come on, get that one over there. Go for him. Come on, no son of mine is just gonna stand there and wave his arms chase down the prey <laughs> okay i think he's i think he's done with his little hissy fit all right i need water okay great he's aggroed but all the gigas are dead i'm just gonna bring the baby gigas to him or maybe bring him to the baby gigas i don't know which is better Let's see can i pick it up i can't all right come here come to this or you know maybe just attack me Look, I brought you a present. It's for you. No? You don't want it? You don't want this delicious, juicy dung beetle? What do they say in The Lion King again? Ah, oh, what is it again? It's something yet satisfying. I can't even remember what it is. Squishy yet satisfying? I don't even remember. Oh my god, look at that little dung beetle's mouth. That is odd looking anyway uh i think we're probably just gonna go ahead and, and come back when this thing's fully grown it's gonna take a while obviously these things like i think it's it's been hatched for like maybe just over a half an hour now i think ish and um it's only 15 percent grown so it does take a good while to actually grow these things up even with our rates on this server so i'll probably just bring you guys back when this thing's fully grown like i said because we need to check it out. We need to see what it looks like compared to the other two. And we need to see what it can take down. So I'll see you guys in a bit. So before we check out the extinction in Dom, I want to quickly just show you guys the other two. So here are the two that we have currently. We have Ghost and we have Shadow. Um, so Ghost obviously is just pretty much identical to the one from the movie. Uh, you can see it's it's so perfect. It is so awesome looking. I love it. I love it so, so much. Um, it, it actually had to have, what are they things, the little things called again, the little quills and stuff on its like neck and its arms and stuff. It had to have those removed because I do believe that it was just a little bit too similar to the actual uh, Indominus Rex or whatever. And just to avoid copyright type stuff, 
he decided to remove those so it used to have those which was cool but um he had to remove them unfortunately anyway uh it's almost identical to the one from the movie though which is just super amazing because like it looks really 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 good uh and then obviously here we have the aberrant version which i really like i mean the aberrant version speaks for itself that is really really amazing looking i mean I love the little bit of like blue cyan -y bits going through it and then like all of the other kind of aberrant colors that you'll get but like man that thing is awesome in black uh unfortunately the fact that he actually has issues with copyright means that he's probably not going to do the indoraptor mod which he was saying he might do at some point if he has a little bit of time so that's really unfortunate because it honestly sounded really cool but uh this is the closest we're gonna get to an indoraptor from this mod <laughs> it's not even a raptor but um yeah anyway those are the two that we have currently let's go over here and check out the extinction one so right here we have it i don't even know what to call it <laughs> let's just bring it out really quick so as you can see pretty similar to when it was a baby obviously but it looks really nice just seeing it fully grown like this oh man does it look awesome i wonder does it glow in the dark i'm not even sure we're gonna have to find out later um I haven't even been paying attention to be honest i kind of just like logged off for a couple hours while this thing was growing but um yeah that is just amazing looking um i love the corruption like kind of going around it like its arms and everything it's like all over the shoulders i was just checking to see if it's the exact same on both sides but i think it might be it looks to be at least that is really cool looking um i like it though it's definitely not my favorite i think to be honest i think the aberrant one's probably my favorite but what do you guys think what uh which one of these so far is your favorite so in terms of stats uh i just pumped one level into health and as you can see here they're pretty good i mean like i think i want to get the health up a little bit more the other ones are all uh, like 40k so maybe we'll go for like 40k as our target health um <laughs> but for the moment i think uh maybe we'll just pump a few into melee i want to fight that giga over there with my three indoms because they don't actually take the extra bleed damage that the giga can do so it should be a pretty easy battle but it should be also be pretty cool to watch um one thing oh you know what are those gates still there it looks like okay no that is it's just not fully loaded in uh okay let's just go over the attacks before we do anything though so with all the indoms they're pretty much like identical so left click is this and you can do that while running as well which is great um then right click is if you tap it you're gonna get the claws so that does here i'll show you that does like a double damage so bam bam and that's the bite there uh you can also actually gather stuff i believe with the right click on this you can gather some wood could be kind of useful if you're running through like a forest or something uh, but if you actually hold down right click, you'll get this attack. Now, this thing's crazy, so just watch. Oh, does it work on flyers? I'm pretty sure it does. Boom! So, you're wondering, why does it do 100 million damage? Well, that's because that attack right there only pins some creatures, but it has to be, like, a 100% kill rate on that, because that attack is a kill attack. Uh, basically it just pins it down and then rips its guts off to the side so that's why it does that much damage and it doesn't really work on anything bigger than a bear i think so it's it's pretty op for small creatures if you're on a server like a pvp server with one of these you could probably just mess up anybody that has anything small but it only works on small things so i guess it's balanced in that way and this is like an apex alpha predator or whatever so um what else does it do so if you're in the presence of like a boss or like a really i think maybe even a giga to be honest you'll get like a little thing up in the top right hand corner that says uh like apex boost or something like that which basically just means that you'll get like a little bit of an extra boost onto the creature's attack and uh everything else uh like i'm pretty sure it actually gets a boost on resistance as well which is pretty cool uh c will make us go invisible same as a rock drake which is cool and there we are again and then control is the roar which is just amazing so let's go ahead and just grab our other two indoms here come here guys oh my god this is terrifying all three of these guys together that is not okay put them on to passive for the moment i want to just go ahead and get this giga to come to us because i don't want to be close to the to the lava and everything <laughs> let's see let's let's get it to just come over here maybe 
and then we will go in and attack this thing. Okay, this is probably good. Attack! Ah! Oh my god, they do way more damage than this one. <laughs> okay. Die! Come on. You're going down, Giga. Come on. Let's see. How are we doing? Oh my god, that's a lot of numbers. You're going down, buddy. Claw attack. Jump on. Hey. Wow, we got him. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, that was crazy. Let's see. Well, we got hurt a good amount. I mean, like, how, how did you guys? How, how are you guys right now? Let's see. Oh, wow. You got hurt a huge amount. Yeah, these guys lost like 10k each. Damn, dude. That's crazy. Um, huh. Well, we got the Giga Heart. Amazing. I'm going to go ahead and just grab that. <laughs> I think maybe I'll bring these two with me, to be honest. Yeah, we should probably do that. Who actually got the kill? Because whoever got the kill probably got the XP. Oh, you know what? You guys are already super leveled. You probably won't even... I don't even know if they're even going to level much more. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and pump one into melee. Nice. So I think I want to just hunt down everything I can see. Maybe we'll head down to the desert, though, because we could fight some death worms if we can find them. But definitely, we could fight a titan down there. That could be fun. Also, one thing to note with this attack, the pin attack... It also gives you a health uh, regen buff right there. Similar to like an RG. All right, so we're down here. We might as well go ahead and just maybe grab some of these drops whenever we see them. Uh, I don't see a Titan yet, but there's got to be one here. I mean, there usually is. Let's see. Um, huh. I don't see one yet. Hopefully that there's, there's one down here because that would be great to fight. Um, yeah, don't see any. There's another drop over here, though. Let's go ahead and just quickly grab this. Oh, hey, we got an acro right there. We can go ahead and fight him. Let's see, cool, amazing. <laughs> All right, let's go fight this thing. Come on, boys. Another Arc Editions creature, and it's immediately dead. <laughs> that was amazing. Oh, man. That thing was actually kind of big compared to the uh, Indom, which is kind of crazy, actually. Those things are quite big, to be honest. They're not really supposed to be that big, though. I don't know. I guess it's just, like, slightly oversized, which is fine. Everything in Ark isn't really to the, uh, any proper scale anyway, so... Let's just murder everything, because we can. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Well, we got another drop, like, roughly over here. Hopefully, there's a Titan on one of the like the other side of one of these dunes here or something that would be great I don't want to have to look for one around the whole map so hopefully there's one there's another drop right here though let's go ahead and grab this really quick and i might head down to the last drop while we're looking for that titan let's see cool amazing how much stuff did we get so far we've huh okay i thought i had like another blueprint but i guess we actually picked up actual boots Hey, we got a Titan over here. Sweet. All right, let's go ahead and fight this thing. I think we should be able to kill this. Guys, get in there. Come on. Ah! Attack. Oh my God, that does a lot of damage. Oh my God. All right, hang on. We could do it though. We could totally do this. Just keep fighting. Oh man, I hope we can do this. Oh yeah, wait, wait, wait. It's a little bit bloody already. Oh yeah, we got this. We totally got this. Let me quickly just level this. It's got two levels. There we go. Wait, can we pin a Titan? Is that possible? No. <laughs> I'd be kind of silly if it actually worked for some reason, though. All right, let's try and get a better angle. Let's go, like, down here, maybe. Oh, yeah, look at this. Eat away, boys. Oh, oh, you're kind of getting hurt there, aren't you? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, uh, should I pull them out? You know what? No, 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 come on. No, this is too big. Come on, boys. Get out of there. I can see you're already pretty hurt already. I gotta quickly just maybe check. Oh, yeah, yeah. Look, look up in the top right corner there. You got Apex Fighter. 
I, I gotta just quickly check their health and make sure that they're gonna be okay because I don't think that they will. Yeah, look at that. Oh my god, you lost so much health. And you, you still have a lot, but Jesus. All right, you know what? Let's just go in with one of them. We're gonna go in with the uh, aberration one because he is... And he's got the most health right now, I suppose. <laughs> also, he's really strong. Oh yeah, look at this. So this is including the little like uh, imprint buff, but also the apex fighter buff as well, which is 15%. Cool. Oh my God, look, look at this. We could probably call them in once it's kind of getting lower, maybe. I don't know. Wow. How much freaking health does the Titan have? I can't even remember. They've got a lot though. Okay, yeah, that does like no damage. The bite does so much more. Dude. You are so powerful. Titanosaurs are no joke, dude. Like, look at this. This is crazy. If we had some sort of bleed attack, this thing would be dead already. Oh my god. My freaking endoms would have died so quick. Okay, come on. Also, we don't even have mate boost because they're all female. Everything in Jurassic Park is a female, remember? <laughs> all right. Can we go from here, maybe? I don't even know. Dude, it's just so much freaking damage, man. Look at that. How much health does it have, though? Don't have a magnifying glass, do I? I do. Let's maybe, like, move away and I can go over and check with my character. Wow. Wow. Freaking titanosaurs, man. Maybe we should just kill it with this one. Yeah, because if I get the kill with this one, then that one gets the XP. Uh, let's just quickly go over and check and see. Oh, by the way, you know what? I need to show you guys this. This is very important to me. Um, <laughs> so everybody knows about the new emotes, right? We have the food coma, which is this one here. It's kind of funnier if I remove my helmet. Uh, it didn't even work. Hang on. There we go. So we got the food coma, but did you know you can speed run in a tech suit and food coma at the same time? Kind of amazing in my opinion. <laughs> it's so silly looking. Oh. Anyway, let's get back to it. Let's see how much health this thing has. Okay, wait, hang on. Did that say 25k? Ah, oh, dude, 24k. Okay. Hmm. Let's just shoot it a few times. Oh wait, that does like no damage. I forgot. Okay. Never mind. Let me see. Uh, I guess we're going to have to get the uh, this one here for the moment. We're going to have to do like 24k worth of damage to it. Almost. And then we can run in with the other one and kill it. Oh my god. Alright. We could do it. We could do it. Don't worry. Okay. We'll do like 5, 6, 6, there. 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. Maybe 11, 12, 13. I'm not going to hit it any more times with this one. I'm going to run in now with the extinction one because we want the kill on that. Oh my god. This is a task and a half, man. Killing one of these things. It's got to be super low right now, though. And the extinction one does have a good amount of health left. So we should be okay. Hey, you guys stay here. Alrighty. I'm coming for you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we gotta go in and just kill it immediately. That's how it works. There we go. It is so bloody, but we're gonna get the kill here. Come on. Hey, we got it. Amazing. I'm gonna grab a dermis. Even though I've already got one, I'm gonna go ahead and just grab another one. Give me that. Sweet. Let's go ahead and just eat this thing now. Might as well get a little meal here. Uh, what am I? Okay, that was a vulture. Am I even eating the titan? There we go. Oh, yeah. That's not even that much meat. Wow. <laughs> Something that big doesn't even give that much. Let's go ahead and get this up to 40k. Oh, my God. All right. And then the rest into melee, because why not? Oh, <laughs> dude. Let's go fight this acro. How big am I? Oh, wow. Yeah. I'm like pretty much the same size as this thing. And it's dead. Amazing. Oh, man. That was crazy, though. I can't believe, like, 
it, that thing was not going down at all like i would have definitely lost the two indoms if i hadn't pulled them out that time oh my god all righty <laughs> let's grab them we gotta heal these guys at some point let's see let me just grab them with me maybe we can find some death worms or something hey i see a death worm all right let's fight this thing unfortunately it doesn't look like it's an alpha but that's okay you boys ready here we go wait for it any second now maybe hey there we go get in kill it <laughs> oh yeah that thing's dead already and goodbye and you're dead amazing oh my god that is crazy oh i should have saved the dermis actually damn it yeah I totally should have done that oops Alrighty, uh, maybe I can find another one. They're pretty rare. I mean, like, you can find them. It's just, like, very hit or miss, to be honest. Like, I've been running around just a few minutes here and haven't found one besides that one right there. I don't know. I don't know where, like, the best spot is. I, I find that, like, the, the desert here, like, while it does have... Oh, don't do that attack to that thing. You might actually get hit by recoil of 100 million i'm pretty sure i don't i've never done like the pin attack against an arthro because as you guys know if you hit an arthro you get recoil damage on your creature so i'm kind of nervous that it might actually one hit my own creature by one hitting the arthro anyway um i find that if like you live around this area you find tons of death worms all the time but like when you're trying to actually look for them they just don't seem to exist i don't know hmm Alrighty, well, you know what? I think it's probably going to be it for today, guys. We have the Extinction Indom and our other two right there. Which one is your favorite? I'm guessing most people probably will say the uh, the Aberrant one. But let me know down below. We'll get the Scorched one at some point eventually, I imagine. Um, hopefully, this mod doesn't get deleted. And hopefully, if it does get deleted, we at least get the Scorched one before that happens. So we can check that out. But uh, yeah, guys, that's it for today. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to see more like this, you can, of course, subscribe. We'll be seeing you in the next one.